evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Andrew Todd, filling in for Jim Fuller, who's on assignment. In tonight's news, Tullahoma's Veterans Day program was Wednesday, Alzheimer's Awareness Month is upon us, and the Eli Grove Foundation's Run, Walk, and Ruck event was last weekend. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. The individuals with dementia, those with Parkinson's, those that have maybe mobility issues, need caregivers. Well, those caregivers are 24 hours a day at home, and they never get a rest. And if they have to go to work, they're kind of out of luck. So that's why Trinity came into existence 25 years ago, to allow the caregivers to have a safe center where they could put their loved ones, know they would be well cared for, stimulated, fed good nutritious meals, have activities to their level, and then the caregiver can stop by and pick them up and go on home and have some continuity into their life. My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party, but things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her, and now she's back doing the things she loves, and that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. Hi, I'm Fran Gray with Alzheimer's Tennessee. When you receive a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease for yourself or someone you love, please know that you do not have to go through this journey alone. Alzheimer's Tennessee is here for you to provide support and education, all the help you may need to get through this challenge. Our number is 931-434-2348. We encourage you to give us a call. We're here to help. Welcome back. Due to COVID restrictions, this year's Tullahoma Veterans Day program was held at Veterans Memorial Park on Wednesday. Featured speaker for this year's ceremony was retired Major General Alan Harris, commander for American Legion Post 43. Harris is the former Assistant Adjunct General Army, Tennessee National Guard. In his capacity in this role, he was responsible for ensuring the combat readiness of the state's 10,500 citizen soldiers in four major Army commands and maintaining accreditation of the 117th Regional Training Institute. His major commands included the 30th Troop Command, 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment, 194th Engineer Brigade, and the 230th Sustainment Brigade. He served in the Tennessee Army National Guard from 1978 to 2013 and earned the Bronze Star and the Legion of Merit along with many other awards and decorations. Allen addressed the attendees at the event. And for those gathered here today, I strongly suspect you already know the purpose and the significance of today. Maybe you kids don't, but you will, and I appreciate you being here. So I won't go through the details about Veterans Day and how it came to be and the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. I, along with several other old ones, which is the definition of a veteran, just completed our inaugural run on the Veterans Tribute Train to the campuses of our school system. And I saw our young people who came out in numbers to show their support to our Tullahoma area veterans. They definitely acted with enthusiasm and faith. And we veterans are surely proud and humbled by their efforts. Thank you, Fair School, for the original idea. And thanks to the school system for making it a reality. Uh, I, I am pretty certain that uh, Mr. Thomas Gwynn is not with us today. He's been kind of holed up because of some pandemic. But Thomas is, uh, he is 101 years old, and as far as I know, he's still going strong. I also want to see if Bill McDermott is in the audience. Okay, so Bill is probably holed up as well, but Bill is in his mid-90s, and Bill has been a longtime uh, member of uh, Tullahoma 
and the American Legion, so I want to recognize him. And there are others out there, and forgive me if I can't see you, you're too far away. We pause here to celebrate Veterans Day. Yes, I said celebrate. Right now, flags are flying all over this great little town, this great state, and this great country. The flag is and always will be a symbol of our freedom, and it should be respected as such. As we speak, a wreath is being placed on the tomb of the unknowns. This wreath is also a symbol, a symbol of America's thankfulness and appreciation for veterans of our past wars and for our veterans serving today in harm's way. On the first recognized federal holiday known as Veterans Day, President Eisenhower's proclamation said, in part, I have a feeling something's about to blow up. President Eisenhower said in part, on this day let us solemnly remember the sacrifices of all those who fought to preserve our heritage of freedom and let us reconsecrate ourselves to the task of promoting and enduring peace so that their efforts shall not have been in vain. Little did President Eisenhower know at the time about future sacrifices in Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, Iraq, and other smaller campaigns. My belief is that Americans should be proud because tens of millions of people in the world live free and millions yet to come will enjoy the same freedom. My belief is that Americans should be proud because tens of millions of people in the world live free and millions yet to come will enjoy the same freedom and a chance at prosperity because of what our veterans have done for them as well as what they have done for us. Consider what the world would be like without our involvement in World War I and World War II and Korea. And we would do well to consider what Vietnam is today as opposed to what it might have been. I have said this before, but I think it's worth mentioning again. Vietnam has taught Americans a valuable lesson. And we today as veterans must thank the Vietnam veteran for opening America's eyes. That's not a mannequin. That's a real person. <laughs> Those of us who remember Desert Shield and Desert Storm in 1990 also may remember the incredible doubt and uncertainty of going to war in the Middle East for a country who didn't necessarily welcome our assistance or our military. And if we had failed or things went bad, how would we be treated by the American public? Also, we remembered Vietnam and how America treated the Vietnam veteran. And largely because we were so embarrassed by our treatment of the Vietnam veteran, Americans came out in large numbers in full support of our mission. Even celebrities and entertainers sang songs and provided public testimony in support of our troops. Weather's turning bad, huh? In closing, I continue to remember a speech delivered 136 years ago by Oliver Wendell Holmes, in which he said, through our great good fortune in our youth, our hearts were touched with fire. In his address, spoken on Memorial Day, but very pertinent to our recognition of Veterans Day, he was telling Americans why we should continue to observe days such as today, 
long after those in uniform have passed away. He said it's now a time when we pause to become conscious of our national life and to rejoice in it, to recall what our country has done for us and to ask ourselves what we can do for our country in return. So on this day, let us celebrate and solemnly reaffirm our nation's life with enthusiasm and faith. Because acting with enthusiasm and faith is the condition of acting greatly. On this Veterans Day, there will be again many soldiers, Coast Guardsmen, Airmen, Marines, and Sailors doing what they believe is right in protecting our freedom and fighting tyranny and oppression. We should keep them and their families in our hearts. Act with enthusiasm and faith to keep families strong and support their efforts. This will be how, among other ways, we can earn our freedoms and act greatly. To all veterans, I salute you and your service. Thank you, and may God continue to bless this great nation. Thank you very much. And we'll have more from the ceremony on next week's Just Plain Living show and on our Facebook and YouTube pages. We'll be right back with more News Leader after these messages. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Here at Stamet Nav Collision Center, we work with all major insurance companies and we get the job done right the first time, on time. Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. We'd always done business with Stamet Nav, so when we needed collision service after a run-in with a deer, we knew to call those guys. We already had trust with them. We called Cody. He took great care of us. He kept us posted every step of the way and we couldn't have been more pleased. Getting your vehicle back to pre-loss condition shouldn't be a headache. So in the event of an accident, contact me, Cody Hall, at Stamet Nav Collision Center. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. Fran Gray stopped by the station to let everyone know about Alzheimer's Support Month and the events scheduled for this month. This is Alzheimer's Awareness Month and if you still have a pumpkin at your house, uh, paint it purple. <laughs> yeah, purple is the color of Alzheimer's and the other dementias and we would just encourage everybody to take that pumpkin and paint it and let people know that you care about those who are affected by dementia it may even be in your own home. And so we, we would encourage you to repurpose your jack-o'-lantern. You if you've carved it, just turn it around and uh, use it. It works very well in your fall decorations all the way up through Thanksgiving. That's right. And we will use ours into the holiday season with Christmas because purple is something that we want to constantly remind <laughs> ourselves about those who are suffering right. or, or who are newly diagnosed with dementia of any kind. And I have some exciting news I want to share with What's you. That? In addition to our family support group meeting, which is statewide every Monday afternoon, and in addition to our uh, support group for people who have a diagnosis, that support group meets on Tuesday mornings. Mm -hmm. We are adding a support group for evening time for family care partners. It will be statewide and we're starting the one here in Tullahoma and Middle Tennessee 
on November 16th. It'll be a Monday night at six o'clock. So people who are working all day or are caring for their loved one at home, hopefully will be able to go online with us. It will be a Zoom or call-in meeting. And now what we, time is that again? It'll be at 6 p.m. on Monday nights. And how long does that usually run? About an hour. So you'll be, you'll be gone by Monday night football time for people. <laughs> uh, it, it could run a little less than an hour. Yeah, that'd be great. And, That's and a good time. And we want to have time for people to ask questions. Sure. And, of course, we want them to call us any time they have a question. And uh, th there's our number on the screen, 931-434-2348. And uh, there are a lot of good things happening this month uh, as we remember those who are affected by dementia. It's an honor to care for people who are uh, affected by dementia, and we want to help those we can. We want to emphasize that, that folks do not have to go through this journey alone, that we are here for you. So our office is at 309 North Jackson Street. We are still socially distancing. Um, here's my Alzheimer's Tennessee mask. I rather like it. If I if I'm having a bad face day, I can just put that on. It's it's good to know that that we can socially distance and hopefully right. um, be safe during this time. But you know, when you have disease in your family, uh, you can tend to be isolated. And that's definitely the case with COVID. Uh, people have to isolate and it can make things even more challenging. So we want you to uh, call in. We want you to be part of the webinar. We have, as I said, these ongoing support groups. So call us, help us help you. Thank you. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. He's a little bit of you, he's a little bit of me He's the fresh along the roadside of Tennessee He's the garbage that we find He's the dream we left behind Lord, there ain't no lower class than Tennessee trash A throwaway bottle or pop top can May not seem much to a traveling man But a little bit of litter goes a long, long way We have met the enemy, and he is us. Welcome back. John Gray went out to the Eli Grove Foundation's Run, Walk, or Ruck event on Saturday to see how the fundraiser was going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at Tullahoma High School, and this is the third annual Run, Walk, and <laughs> Ruck competition uh, held by the Grove family and the Eli Grove Foundation to raise money for an athletic facility that will be built right here at Tullahoma High School for all sports. And we're going to just check it out and see who's here and what's going on and see if we can get to with Cassie and Tony and get some information. Look at this group right here. This is your concession stand. Yes. Making that money for the Grow Foundation. Eli. <laughs> going to grow with Eli. 
Yeah. Uh, that's right. This is Tony Groves' mama and Aunt Diane. And yeah. look at there. Hello. Who is that right there? Uh, huh? It's the queen that's of Snoopy. Super, that's the superstar Snoopy right there. She oh, to sing, she to sing us a song, <laughs> preach us a sermon, or or deliver an edict for the city of Tullahoma. That's right. There you right go. There. there. She there can, you go. She can do it all. And you can see the crowd's picked up, and a lot of people have been on the track and running and walking and rocking. And now they're over here eating. There's pizza, and there's all kinds of folks involved. We're going to see if we can find Cassie over here. There's, of course, there's gelato, and everybody's got their shirts on. Uh, it's just a, it's just a great thing. Look at there. Look at that pretty smile back there. Huh? All these great people. Hello. Look at them. All the volunteers. And this is, like I said, a fundraiser for the Eli Grove Foundation. Yeah, we got them tall, short, male, female, little, old, playing football, laying in the grass. This is a great family event here for the Eli Grove Foundation. Farmers and third place. Um, Will Cantrell. There's our so sweet Miss Cassie Grove of the reading division. off some winners and first, people second, just and coming and out and enjoying themselves first place, Tyler and a great and Saturday morning knows. at Tullahoma that High School track. And here's some service dogs Brandon, right, right here? here that are working with the ruck. All right, the and then we have ruck. in there's the some female, ruck packs first, right second, there. and third. Chelsea and, Morris came you know, there's everything you can imagine over here where people are trying to help fund this here. project for the Eli place. Grove Foundation. Uh, there they are right there. Look at that. Look at that pair. Representatives. Representing us all in the good stuff. I have a little trophy. Fastest team. <laughs> Come up and grab your trophy. And then, of course, the largest team. Anybody know what team that was? Tullahoma Middle School Baseball, and we have a trophy for you, a small trophy too. Congratulations, guys. Thank you all for participating. We'll be right back after these messages. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home, our family caring for your family since 1932. My great-grandfather started it in 1900 and now it's 2020, which is 120 years. We still measure your feet, still try to help you find a good fit. We're just a good old-fashioned shoe store where we'll measure your feet, make sure you're in the right size, and help you find a comfortable shoe for men, women, and children. We're gonna pick your style. We're gonna make your style. Service and quality at Clayton Shoe Store. We're gonna pick your style. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Welcome back. The Young Artist Showcase is this weekend at South Jackson Civic Center. Lisa Maurer and Peggy Burton bring us all the details. This year our Young Artist Showcase is coming up on the 15th of November, 2.30 p.m. at South Jackson Civic Center. And if the tickets are $10 and if you'd like to make a reservation, you can call that number. Now, you can reserve your tickets online, but it's still, come, come whoever comes first sits down. And we have social distancing already set up in the auditorium. So, Lisa, now that I've rambled on, <laughs> are you ready for another one? Hopefully everybody's yes. going to be well and oh, yes. perform. Yeah, we have some in quarantine, but they're going to get out just in time for the just concert. Just in time. Yes, So, and the students are very excited. Uh, some of them have been planning since last year that they want to be in it, so they've been practicing uh, hard. One of the best things about this COVID thing 
is they've been practicing. They've been practicing. That's right. My husband has a student. She was practicing four hours a day during COVID because there was nothing else to do. Yeah. It was great, and so all my students have been practicing hard, so I think the COVID thing was the best it's thing. It's the best thing. They don't have to deal with sports, you know, they yeah. can just play. They so, just go yeah. and practice their music. Mm -hmm. So what all, who all do we have? Can you, I don't know if you can name them or not. Uh, we have Aubrey Sheeran on French horn, Chloe Fuller, alto sax, Isaac Sweeney and uh, John Newton on trumpet, Kiana Cobard on flute, Wonderful. and Elizabeth Garner on violin. Oh, you do have yeah, a violin this year. A violinist, yes. I'm thrilled about that. No piano players, so. I know. I well, mean, Alexa Thompson, you got her because she takes piano and voice, so you took her first. I couldn't get her in there. So she is <laughs> Alexa. Alexa and Hope and on Hope. voice. I Hope forgot Seaborn, that. Sorry. And yes. Hope Seaborn is one mm -hmm. that's quarantined for a little mm -hmm. while, but she will be back, I hope. And uh, Alexa is just a freshman, and yeah, she's weird. studied piano from mm -hmm. you, and she studied voice from me, and she's very talented. Hope has been in the band at the high school for a long time, and she also loves to sing. So we're thrilled that this amount of students are willing to learn classical music oh, yes. to perform at this concert. And November 15th is just mm -hmm. Sunday, yes. And it's 2.30 in the afternoon, which gives you time if you're still able to go into a church. It gives you time to get out and come to see these young people and support them. You're welcome to wear a mask. We're being very careful at South Jackson Civic Center. We check temperatures as you come in the door. <laughs> and you're welcome to wear a mask, and we keep you socially distanced. So we hope that you will come and be a part of supporting classical music in our community with our young people. Stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast after these messages. My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party, but things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her, and now she's back doing the things she loves, and that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 1989 at 77 degrees. The record low was in 2019 at 18 degrees. The average high on this day is 62, and the average low is 39. Mostly clear for tonight with a low of 40. Sunny for Friday with a high of 63 and a low of 39, and mostly sunny on Saturday with a high of 68 and a low of 53. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for News Leader on 6. Stay safe and have a great evening.